Hey guys, what's up? This is Yusuf from Minak, and today we are going to talk about a topic which is what is the number of cement bags which should be required in 1200 square feet roof or a roof slab. So uh, many people were in the, when they uh, construct a building, uh, many people don't hire engineers or some some of us also want to you know calculate the number of uh, cement bags which should be required for roof slab. So how to do that? So we'll see so first of all i had made a video you know the previous video which i had made yesterday which is how to calculate the number of uh, cement bags in m20 grade concrete so m20 grade concrete as you know is the minimum grade of concrete which you should be using that is 1 is to 1.5 is to 3 that is and in m20 grade concrete the number of cement bags is 8 so suppose you your uh, you know volume uh, is you know suppose say 10 uh, you know meter cube or 10 come so then if there your there will be your 80 bags will be required so and if less than 80 bags is used in your in this uh, in the construction that means somewhere the cement ratio is not correct so that's why uh, i advise to you know people who are making their own residential homes also please uh, hire a qualified engineers to supervise and guide the levers at least because otherwise there are a lot of things provisions which you, you know you do wrong and uh, in turn, you know, this will be harmful for you. So that's why. Okay, so moving to the topic. So uh, we have a 1200 square feet, you know, roof slab. And uh, 1200 square feet, if you want to convert square, you know, feet into meter, it will be divided by 3.28. Basic uh, conversion as the engineer should know. And if you don't, just remember it. Feet to meter, you just have to convert by 3.28. And uh, 12 inches is equals to one feet. But these two things, you know, then it's enough, right? So 1200 square feet divided by 3.28 square is equals to triple uh, 1.54 square meter. So first of all, whatever the area of the you know, roof slab you have, 1200, 1600, whatever, just convert it into you know square meter. So once it is converted into square meter, then you have to multiply it by thickness. So usually the minimum thickness which you take is we should take is you know 125 mm. Uh, some somewhere you take 100 mm also. We, we have 125, 150, 175. For residential buildings, is generally between 100 to 150, right? So, what as for the design? So, 125 mm slab, the volume of concrete will be 11 triple uh, one point five four square meter into the thickness, and which will come as in in meter cubes or cubic meter. So, it will come as 13.942 to come. So, 13.942 is the quantity of concrete which will be uh, in the slab in your meter cube. Now. You have to, uh, you know, also consider the, you know, this uh, roof beam uh, depth also. In in some places, I especially have seen in uh, some places of northeastern India, like in Manipur, where they don't have many very very good, you know, shattering materials. What they do is they cast the beam portion first, and then they cast the slab portion. So in general, there will be, you know, your beams as well, and uh, you know, you have to consider a factor of safety in that. Okay, we'll come to that later. So five inch slab means 13.942 come and number of cement bags is uh, per cubic meter is eight bags. So number of cement bags which will, which will be required in total will be 13.942 into eight, which comes as 112 numbers. So this 112 numbers is the minimum number which will be required because what happens, uh, suppose uh, you have uh, this uh, roof slab, right? So we have this roof slab here like this and uh, there are the beams, right? The beams, you know, I'm mean just uh, just trying the roof slab to start with. So this is a roof slab of let's let's say depth. Uh, the, the roof slab is 125 mm, and the beam beam for the beam in the roof slab minimum depth is 300 to 350 mm. Let's go for 350 mm as the more common. So 350 mm roof slab is there, and whenever the the cross section right, whenever there will be beams, the beams will be coming like this. So for accurate quantity, we need to calculate the quantity of, you know, your beams as well as we have to calculate the quantity of your, uh, the concrete using your slabs. And after that only we can say what is the total quantity required. But for approximately uh, this method, you know, will give you the minimum number of bags. You can just, you know, increase it by 5% at least, I think you see 5% if you increase. So if you just uh, multiply uh, 112 into 1, uh, 1.05, it will be 1176, 5, 5 to 10 or 9 percent, I think. Uh, it can take 5 to 10 percent. Let's sink to the 10 percent. So, 123 bags. So, if you want to procure, so you can uh, just uh, do between so 
10 percent is coming 123 we can just take 120 bags to, uh, to be sure that, uh, you know, that this is the quantity but if you want to calculate accurately then you have to calculate you have to see the drawing and then you have to calculate the uh, total quantity of concrete in the beams as well as the slab and then calculate the total number of bags okay so you have the four inch slab if we have the four inch slab the volume of concrete you know the volume of concrete will be calculated the same method this that is the uh, surface area into the thickness of the slab and uh, for in this case it will approximately 90 number of bags will be required so again this is the minimum number of bags when you, when you consider the beam it will the number will go up let's say up to 105 110 it will go up up to that so this method will give you like for an approximate you know quantity of the number of cement bags in a particular slab so hope this video helps happy sunday